Um, hi everyone, my name is Marina Basta and I decided to do my presentation on rap and hip hop music. Um, so what is rap and hip hop music? Um, rap is also known as rhyming, spitting, or emceeing. Um, it's a vocal delivery that includes the rhyming of words. And rappers usually rhyme words that have to tell a story, or sometimes it's just for fun, um, but it usually makes sense instead of it just being random rhyming words. Um, it can be performed in a variety of chanting ways, usually um, through a steady beat, which could be like handmade on a drum or clapping. And most of the time, it's accompanied by um, some sort of background beat. The components of rap include content, which is what is being said, flow, which is the rhythm or the rhyme itself, and delivery, which is the tone they're using. So they could be a soft tone, like a laid back tone. They could be um, loud and excited, yelling. Um, oftentimes, rap and hip hop go hand in hand, and most people actually intertwine and mix the two. Um, hip hop includes using turntables, scratching, beatboxing, and DJing. Um, however, rap does, is not a required part of hip hop music. So, the history of rap. While um, the official starting date for the history of rap music is somewhat debated, some say it started at the Griots of West Africa. So, Griots were historians who told their uh, rhythmic stories to their villages over a simple handmade beat. Um, however, it's undeniable that rap began as a genre when New York um, New York DJs would sample portions from disco, soul, and funk music to create what is now called a loop. So DJ Cool Herc from the Bronx um, became known as the father of rap. He would host uh, school parties where he would take records and intertwine them, playing the same beat over and over again in order to create some sort of uh, background music for someone to rap on. Um, and this was the loop. He realized that um, this kept the crowd excited, and he had asked his friend uh, Coke LaRock to rap or MC while he looped tracks in the background. Um, Hip-hop being unstoppable in the Bronx uh, became a sensation, and DJs such as Africa Bombada and Grandmaster Flash uh, flourished. And up until 1984, rhymes and raps had been quite simple. Um, after 1984, however, they became more complex and um, complex in the beats and techniques, which gave birth to um, something called the Golden Era. And this was the era where each rap song shaped the sound of rap as we knew it today. So um, each song, each rapper would create a song, and then the next rapper would take what he heard from the previous song and just um, kind of expand on that. So um, the beats and productions were more dense and the raps were faster and the sampling of different beats and loops um, eventually skyrocketed. So the golden era included um, rappers or artists like Eric B and Rakim, Run DMC, A Tribe Called Quest, and Public Enemy. Um, rap became incredibly popular and spread geographically. Um, and in the 1980s, the West Coast um, hopped on the bandwagon. So some of the most famous rap groups emerged, which include Too Short, NWA, and Ice-T. Their life stories and uh, personal experiences were shared through their rap lyrics. And here's a picture of NWA's the Greatest Hit. That was the cover of one of their albums. Um, the 1980s was also a time era where there was a division between the East and West Coast rap. So aside from their stylistic differences between the two coasts, um, there was personal differences that caused um, a national rift. And the most iconic, iconically known uh, drift was between rappers Tupac Shakur and Notorious B.I.G. Um, this led to the murders of both artists. However, um, these events led and paved the way for artists more commonly known today like Jay-Z and Snoop Dogg who um, were on both coasts. And eventually um, rap spread to inner cities. So the societal impacts of uh, rap. So rappers now have a distinct style. 
Um, it ranges from their lavish and extra extravagant cars, um, their jewelry, homes, clothing, and more. Um, at one point, their baggy clothing became uh, a hit for individuals who idolized these rappers. Um, the metal or diamond teeth is known as grills, and that became extremely popular and is extremely popular. Um, an extensive amount of diamond necklaces, bracelets, and rings is also popular in the community of rap. Um, and it's now even popular for individuals who are not famous in the rap community to dress like these rappers and post their versions of their raps on social media outlets like um, Instagram, SoundCloud, YouTube, and more in hopes for recognition and fame. So, rap has changed and influenced generations ever since, both in a positive and negative way. Um, it influences the younger generations to be expressive in a unique way, and it allows for the coming together of um, races. However, it can be used as an outlet for the younger youth to be more aggressive um, or gang-related or disrespectful. But um, now rap music can be widely used for social awareness issues, and um, in my opinion, it's fun to listen to and uh, sing along with. And um, that's all. Thank you guys for watching.